here and welcome back to my channel, the number one place to be for parents who want the very best from their little one's sleep and to give you that happiest and healthiest experience of parenthood and for that thriving little child of yours. Okay, so this episode is all about the impact on parents when babies cry. There are so many things about this, so I'm going to break this down for you and I'm going to give you three key pieces of information today that's really going to help you understand that um, and why perhaps you feel the way you do when your little one cries. So stick around. Okay, let's delve on in and explore this whole thing about that impact of crying. First of all, I want to share with you that we are wired, parents are wired to respond to babies' cries faster than any other sound that we hear. It's the it, it's nature's way of wiring us for human survival because when the parent responds to the cry of their young, it's to ensure their survival. So it's to ensure the survival of the human race. And actually you'll find it's completely true of other animals in the animal kingdom as well. The mothers are wired to respond to the cry of the young and fathers too, actually. So knowing that, just knowing that is actually, I think, quite reassuring because we know that, oh, okay, this is a wired, there's a wired trigger here in nature that's making me feel like this is like an emergency, emergency, fix it, fix it, fix it kind of thing when a baby cries. Honestly, I still feel that way now when I hear any baby cry, <laughs> even though my children are nine and 11 at the time of recording this, they, um, th when I hear other babies cry, I do still feel that kind of like, mm, I need to fix that, I need to make it, make, make it stop. It's literally like an intuition. That said, just because nature wired us that way doesn't mean it's right. <laughs> and it doesn't mean that we need to go and fix it, fix it, fix it. And actually sometimes, it trips us up in the same way that we are wired in nature. Uh, fear, fear is sent to protect us. Fear is something we feel to protect us from danger. Sometimes fear prevents us from being brave and doing courageous things that actually can get us phenomenal, fantastic results and outcomes and it holds us back. And in the same way, our wiring to respond to crying and to treat it like, oh my God, it's an emergency, you gotta make it stop, can actually trip us up and prevent us from taking a more logical, rational view on what's actually happening in front of us. So let me go into that in a bit more detail. What is the meaning that you give to the crying? Because the meaning that you give to the cry is going to have a direct correlation with your ability to manage it. So let's look at that in um, another way. It's it's more about you in this context than the child. So a child cries, and in a later episode, I'm gonna be talking about all the different types of crying. So have a look at that one um, coming up very soon. But when a child cries, there's, there is a meaning, there is a purpose, that it, there's a reason why children cry, babies, babies cry, young babies cry more because they have, the only way of communicating is by crying. But as a parent, if you attach a meaning to the cry that is, uh, oh my goodness, my baby's crying, they must be so sad and miserable, when actually the cry is actually saying, could someone change this dirty diaper? It was really uncomfortable. Like, then the meaning that we are applying to the cry and the true meaning of the cry are not aligned. So consider that for a moment because um, we may not have that meaning right in our minds and that will change how we respond. When we know the meaning, the response is going to be more fitting and it's going to make the crying stop and everyone will feel better much sooner. Knowledge is really powerful in this and this is my third point for you really in that when you know and you understand those cries, it gives you the ability to respond more effectively. So you can create a response plan and when you have that response plan, so like, okay, well, when I get this kind of cry, I know that it's this. And when I have this kind of cry, well, then I need to do that. That gives you confidence. And with that confidence comes a much more blissful experience as a parent and for a little one, because you know that they're not gonna be crying because their needs are not met. Every time they cry, if there's a need to be met, you, you meet the need, but you also start to learn to differentiate the the wants from the needs. 
you know, and there's a need where it's like, okay, crying's the only way I can tell them that I need this. Um, but then there may be wants, you know, little ones do cry because they want something even if they don't need it. And sometimes that's okay and sometimes it's not. So it will give you confidence as well. Okay, this has been all about understanding that impact on um, parents when babies cry. Just remember you are wired to respond and you should respond, but the meaning you give to the cry is gonna determine the response that you come out with. And when you know what the, the meaning is, the response is gonna be more appropriate, it's gonna solve the problem faster and give you that confidence as well. So have a think about that, the beliefs and the meanings that you give, because there's gonna be a lot of answers for you in there when you sort of dig inside and have a think about that. All right, coming up in my next episode, I am going to be sharing with you, um, when it comes to crying, what responses, what, what kind of, how does responding work? And what could you use? And how could you respond really effectively? So responding is coming up in the next episode. I'll see you over there, take care. Thanks so much for watching. If you've liked anything about this episode, then please leave a comment below and hit subscribe for more episodes like this. If any of your friends would benefit from seeing this video, then please do share it with them using the hashtag the sleep nanny. And we look forward to seeing you again real soon.